I specialize in shirt all beef cake photos. Make for some very good posters. If you know anyone who's hiring a supermodel, tell them the devil is stealing their calls to me. 424-229-4140. They're going to have to see me in person, 4260. Eagle Wright Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. The sooner you come see me in person, the sooner we can get to work. Nope, it's an ugly rumor. Started by an angry brunette. I told to a couple of hot blondes across the street. And you know the thing about angry brunette. Very loud. Don't listen to rumors come. See the handsome ball guy. I'll put you right there next to the big eye. Or me. Take your choice. We are at spring break. And Molly is wearing a sexy string bikini. And Sarah is a little more conservatively dressed. And Molly tells her, My mother hates that I went to Florida for spring break. She wanted me to spend it with her. And Sarah says, Well, my mother's the exact opposite. She said, get down there, get me Melton's latest imagery, don't come back, unless you got it, and yeah, don't tell the priest. Remember guys, uh, the nuns don't get out to parties and bars as much, so make sure they got Melton's imagery. Oh, I don't know if that's my favorite flower, girls, but uh, if you would like your favorite flower and your name right above it, or just to have it as a nice desktop, you gotta come see me in person. Yeah, the devil steals your calls. 424-229-4140. So, so, so come and see the son of Carpenter Mary. Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom Mary Ann. Come see the son of Carpenter and Mary in person. And, uh, yeah, make sure you check and post in five. Make that video of your hijack lifeline as you see that you can't reach me by phone. And then come see me in person to get that imagery designed. Tell me what Jesus' as Immaculate House here on earth needs to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. That's religious censorship in America. We need to stop that. Rachel and Kayla are at a college party. And they are watching one of my parable videos about Jesus' as Immaculate House. And Rachel says, I bet that was the place I saw last night in my dream. It was so real. I was walking around on these walkways connecting these domes, these massive domes, and the place that had such a beautiful sound system. It was coming from everywhere. And uh, Kayla says, oh, you mean like uh, stereo from left and from the right? And Rachel says, yeah, and also from within. Oh yeah, that's Gregorian chant, Rachel. It comes from the soul. Come see me. Let's start building Jesus and Mac with house here. We are at a college party. And Tony says to Billy, Hey Billy, do you want another beer? And Billy says, Oh no, I'm trying to cut back. My girlfriend Rhonda read this article about how drinking too much beer causes your hair to fall out. Then he lifts up that cap and sure enough he's completely bald. 
girls, please do not shave your man's head while he sleeps. If he won't shave it himself, drop the loser, get a get someone who loves you. And yeah, it, shaving their head isn't going to make them any smarter or any better looking. This parable is a look into the future. We are at an art gallery in Jesus' Immaculate House. A domed home. And in between two very large windows is a photo of Gina and Jessica the tour guide says do you want to know how Gina's smile here has come to symbolize to define graphic art it is said that for days on end Melton had been making love to Gina and several other girls and right after he pulled ecstasy out of the light for her, he took that photo. Girls, come let me define graphic. card. Remember, when you see a vapor trail, flight 93, check and post in 5. You trying to call me Melton? Make a video of whatever you get when you don't get me. It's gonna be boring. A phone ringing, an error message, a busy signal. It's not gonna be boring. If you need to fire any police paramedics and some money out of your pocket every time you get that uh, boring thing, you're calling up a countless other customers. See that vapor trail or that bus? Check and post in five. Kayla and Brooke and some of the other cheerleaders are deciding where they want to go for the night and Kayla says well we gotta go see a Jennifer as part of the night's uh, trip she's always got Milton's latest and his best on DVD so you don't have to waste time copying it to your phone Got his best as far as imagery, and she's also got a very good collection of hand-picked parable videos. Once again on DVD, so you don't have to waste time putting it on your phone. You can do that later. Do that and hand out my uh, contact cards with my address on it. Tell everyone. Go see him. Be in his imagery. I am Melton, son of a carpenter and Mary. Dad carpenter worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I'm son of a carpenter Mary, I get to make parables. I also get to design parable imagery, and here's one here. Girls, all you angels out there, take my truth, my parables. Oh, the trouble I've been having with high tech toys uh, stopping my uploads lately. I need you to do this. Take my parables, my imagery, my videos to the world upon your wings and girls, uh, all you college girls without feathers you can use your phones you can look for those DVDs at the parties, you don't have to waste time there you got, uh, off copy those 19,000 of my videos and put what you like on your phone and show your friends And yeah, remember to make that video if you hijack call to me Girls, carry my truth, my imagery, my parables, my videos, to the world upon your phones. And yes, angels, you do the same. I'm Milton, sub carpenter, dad carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I'm a sub carpenter, I get to tell parables, and I've Got my stigmata eyes here, doing a little genetic carpentry, growing a new pair. Got to grow a whole new body to uh, build a Jesus is Immaculate House here on earth. Try to call me, 424-229-4140. Make a video if you hijack call to me. You got the time on your phone, you got the number dialed, and it doesn't match up with our phone records.
Put that first brick of truth in Jesus' immaculate house and come see the man in the shadows in person. Clouds make for a good contact image or a whatever you might want your image to be. So as you call me, 424-229-4140, and you see the devil stealing your call, to Mel, son of Carpenter and Mary, daddy Carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of Carpenter Mary, I get to make parables. When you see that happen, and you're working up your courage, or you're trying to put some time together, to come up here to Eagle Rock, a neighborhood in northern Los Angeles, and get your contact image made, or whatever you want to say. Yeah, take a photo of that cloud. It will make for a nice contact your friends, your family, your car. But yeah, come see me in person when you see someone other than me, my change in eyes, and the 19,000 plus you're going to find printable at Dapodilia there. Someone's done that. I am Milton, son of a carpenter, and Mary, dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables, and I also, at times, help with transitions. Okay, who's first? Oh, Portia. This is awkward. I knew I shouldn't have gotten you that sports car, but you prayed with such a devout heart. Well, yeah. Sorry about that, but you've been very good, and you're a virgin. Of course, you're going to get into the right place. What? He took that uh, fast sports car to spring break and met a weasel named Will, who liked fast cars and even faster women. Okay, uh, Porsche, you're going to purgatory. Think about what you've done. All right, who's next? Oh, well, you know where you're going. How do you rule out Milton's imagery? Well, you go to www.tapadilia.blogspot.com, D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L-I-A. -F -F -I -I you go to that site, and you're going to find 19,000 plus of my images to download and print out as these are, 4 by 6 photos. You're going to find something you like there. Use it for your uh, desktop, your... Uh, or just print it up in some nice tabletop art. But you have to have these for that. It's uh, Otherwise a photo printer will crop stuff off with the little backgrounds there. Around the edges, the frames. Have to be prepared in that fashion. Check out my work. Try to call me, 424-229-4140. Then, yeah, come see me in person. The devil will steal your calls to me. We are at a college basketball game at halftime. And the coach... Pulls one of the plays aside and he says, Son, you can't keep missing those free throws. That's the difference between us being down 10 points and having a lead going into the half. And the player says, Well, I can't help it, coach. Every time I go to shoot a free throw, there's this guy dressed all in red. And he waves his pitchfork and it distracts me. And the coach looks and he says, There's no guy dressed all in red back there. Have you been taking part with Stone Cold, Melt, and Silver Coffee Mary impersonators? And the the kid says, yeah, but that's not the reason I'm missing all those free throws, and my girlfriend left me, and my car keeps breaking down, I'm getting bad grades. And the, the coach says, yes it is, you're being hit by Melton's lightning bolts. We are at a college party. But Crystal does not look very happy. And Samantha asks her, What's wrong? And Crystal tells her, Well, last week, there was a knock on the door and I went to answer it. And it was the Latter-day Sinners, the Mormons, LDS, Latter-day Sinners. And of course I said, No, I'm not interested. I was about to close the door and... Behind them appeared the devil. He promised me that uh, if I listened to the Mormons, uh, he would make sure I got an A on that history test. And did you? No, I didn't. Oh. 
Crystal, haven't you been listening to a word I've said about the devil and the Mormons? I'm Milton, son of Carpenter and Mary. Dad of Carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne. I'm the son of Carpenter and Mary. I get to tell parables. And also design beautiful graphic art. But check it out. And yeah, ask me for this DVD. I've got two. My work as a graphic artist, a low def stuff. Some photo stuff you can print out uh, like this. That's all four by six. It's uh, fits on two DVDs, six point four eight or six eight one. And also you can find a whole bunch of DVDs, not just me handing them out, guys, but the world handing them out. As a great wall of evil crumbles and. The Jesus is Immaculate House arises. So check them out. Pass them along. Put a good set on your computer and burn some whenever you need to tell someone about the handsome ball guy and our hijack lifelines. Be the reporter. Not one flight night for you check and nine years of asking. Make that video, post that video right now, and next time you see the mayor, the governor, or that network news anchor, that local news anchor. Tell me about the guy with the stigmat eyes growing new paramedical research being passed by. Used to be all dark brown. And ask him, why aren't you covering the news? Yeah, it used to be all dark brown, the whites eating away at the brown. I'm in a wheelchair because the blue eyed DNA is taking over from the brown eyed DNA. Ask all reporters, all mayors, all governors, anyone in authority position. Uh, yeah, find a DVD to hand to them and educate them about the handsome ball guy. John Melton Brady, uh, name on the driver's license. Uh, uh, California ID as well. Birth certificate. So you play your mail to me and make a video of it. Not one bit of certified mail in those years. Nine years of asking for that first flight, 93J. Certify that mail, make that video. We the people must be the reporters. Say that's why we got Hussein right after we got attacked by a whole lot of violent deadly Husseins. They displaced them. Then they placed that Russian buffoon guy to show that they had control of both parties. We need to take America back, guys. Pick up that phone. Make that video. Document. Our hijack lifelines. When you see a handsome ball guy in a wheelchair now. I was walking when I took that photo. Uh, growing a new pair of eyes. That's what the big guy on the chest is about. You can even see it in the photo. That's a DVD on my chest. And uh, yeah, I hand out DVDs. Two DVDs worth of uh, my uh, graphic art. I design graphic art. I'm a sense of graphic artist. You can't reach me. It doesn't matter what boring thing you get. Phone ringing, error message. You get to leave a message. I can't get back to you because I don't get it. Whatever boring thing you get, yeah, it's not going to be boring if you need a fireman, police, paramedics. And it's money out of your pocket every day. You can't reach a customer. You can't reach someone who can... You don't know how many other customers you can't reach. And you can't reach a, a man who can drive folks into your business with the imagery I can design for you. Make that video of American Hijack Lifelines, 424-229-4140. Come see me. Now you see me out uh, rolling down Eagle Rock out there? Ask for a DPT. The three cowards guys are talking about the girlfriends. And Will says you won't believe it. She's got a shirtless melt poster in the bedroom and I'll catch her looking over at it when we're having sex and Bill goes well I, you're lucky she shaved my head while I was sleeping my girlfriend did I wish she had a, a shirtless hands a ball guy posted what about you Phil you got any problems with Milton in the bedroom and Phil goes oh no my girl Molly, she uh, she does like to listen to religious music in bed. Uh, she'll take those earbuds in her phone and she'll call out, "Oh, sweet Jesus!" during the uh, lovemaking. Oh, Molly, that's a great idea. No one knows you're listening to my parables, and no one knows you're thinking about the uh, handsome ball. So, Dr. Mary. We are at a college party and they're talking about macabre parables after watching a, a few of them. And Ray says, you know, I think he hit the nail on the head with that about the cops. 
If you're going 30 miles over the speed limit and one pulls you over, you may not like him, but uh, yeah. You figure he's doing his job. But when you ask uh, one about John Melton Brady asking for Clyde 93 chicks for nine years and not getting one, they're either going to be truthful law enforcement officers or they are going to reveal their corrupt and cowardly nature. Hey, tomorrow Sunday, why don't we call up a couple of those uh, Mormon temples or churches and ask them how they reach Milton by phone and let's call up the cops. Ask them as well. What do you know about this man not getting one flight 93 check? Agena is a college student studying for a big test when there is a knock at the door. She goes to the door and yes, you guessed it. It's the Mormon missionaries and Jared, one of them, says, Hello, we're Mormon missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Sinners. And just then, a loud booming voice, yes, it's right behind the two missionaries. It's, uh, it's Jesus Christ, you know, the long hair, the beard. And he says, they're not with me. They're just name droppers. I am about truth and they are about lies. And he takes out some lightning bolts and he throws at the missionaries and chases them away. And then a handsome bald guy, shirtless bald guy, rolls up and says, Gina, you got to come see me to be in this imagery. Girls, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Let mine take a picture of yours. So we can design some imagery for the angels to sing, to inspire the angels to sing. Yeah, we can use a camera. I do some good work with uh, photography as well. Hmm. Uh, check out the work, www.dapadelia.blogspot.com. Also, ChristComplex2.wixsite.com slash Dapadilly. Both you can find what I designed yesterday and will design today. Hit the heart on the Wix site. Follow the link on the other. And you also find 19,000 plus examples. Professor Foote is in the middle of a lecture when there is a chorus of notification sounds coming from the phones of his class. And he looks at his watch and he says, oh, two o'clock. So I'm assuming Milton has posted his latest image. And he stops next to Jennifer, who's looking at the latest image on her phone. And he says, please put me on the email list for the cop parables and the Latter-day Center parables. Yes, he's had a dinner or two interrupted and gotten a couple of speeding tickets in his time. It's Here's how it works. You get the latest. You email to your folks and they email to other folks and how you reach the world on Domino Network. Oh, I covered up with an image, but that's my stigmata one. Started as a circular thing. Well, about the size of silver dollar, and then kind of changed into that. I, oh, I lost 80 pounds on the way to a hospital in one month. And uh, oh, here's something a little better to look at. Then, uh, yeah, in the hospital, I spent 70 plus days in. Uh, it kind of changed to more of a bite mark looking thing. By the time I was in a convalescent hospital. Uh, not a good place. It had turned into what I call the ankle biter. It looks kind of like an ankle biter. But it's uh, the same genetic carpentry going on with the eyes. They never used to catch the light like that. Slowly changing from brown to blue. Blue eye DNA taking over for brown eye DNA. Yeah, genetic carpentry from the son of a carpenter. Mary, daddy, carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. 
Well, I'm Mary Ann. I'm the seventh card for Mary. I get to make parables. You come see me in person and tell me what you think of my parables. My video parables, my graphic card. Uh, see me in person. Because, uh, yeah, 424-229-4140. You see the devil still and you call to me. You can't tell me what you believe. You can't ask what I mean by Jesus' system. I call it how. It's here on earth. Do that in person. Mom has made her college boy his favorite dinner, and as he eats, she tells him, I had lunch with your girlfriend, Dan, and she assured me that she has never danced topless on spring break. For a nice girl like that, Danny, you should do whatever it takes to make her happy. But I did notice he's a little shy. And Danny says, oh, Mom, I'm, I'm getting kind of sleepy. And she says, yes, I know. As she puts that can of shaving cream and scissors down on the table. When you wake up, you're going to be such a handsome young man. And then Dad walks in and says, oh, good, you're getting junior, too. Uh, Gina and Molly are having dinner at Kayla and Carrie's apartment. Two girl Americans. And taking a wrong turn on the, on the way to the bathroom, uh, Gina comes back and she says, Oh, you won't believe this, Molly. They've got a shirtless, handsome, bald guy poster on their bedroom wall, too. And... Uh, Kayla explains, yeah, we like to watch Melton's imagery and his videos, and we get all worked up, and when we get to the bedroom, there he is, uh, and it gets us even more excited for an even better romantic encounter. Oh, girls, it's, it's bound to happen, because we're meant to be together when I see two very feminine girl Americans, uh, you know what, tussling together. It gets me turned on, too. Come see me. Let's get uh, turned on together. My Tommy parable today, one of the Karens had never learned to drive. So Tommy had to teach her because he needed to drive the big boss to the airport. And Tommy is the no-arm Chinese fellow of the unseen business of the streets. Yeah, he has to drive with his mouth. So he kept giving her that memory device trying to teach her to drive like he does a, a 12 Karen 12 I'd like to continue the driving theme into the night uh, parable here about girl Americans girls after you have uh, had that romantic dinner and watched some of my parables to get yourselves in the mood you go into the bedroom and there's that shirtless handsome ball guy poster there you embrace uh, to make love, remember, uh, 10 and 2, and when you work up your courage, come see me because you can't reach me by phone. 6 o'clock. It's not the best taping job. But considering it's just tape and uh, some nice photos. And it's got my name and number and address, email. You want a nice contact image for your stuff? You gonna come see me? 424-229-4140. Make the video if you had that call to me. Come see me in person. And yes, at uh, daffodilia.blogspot.com. D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L-I-A. Don't forget the www up front. And also through that site, Credit Complex links. You can find plenty of these images to print out for some nice tabletop art. Uh, they can also be used as uh, DVD labels. Brooke and Kayla, two cheerleaders, are at the wedding of another cheerleader, Ella. And Brooke uh, says that was so beautiful. She has feelings for him. Uh, yeah, it was a wedding, Ellen. And Alan got married. They wrote their own vows. And the trouble is, uh, Ellen inserted Melton 
unknowingly. As he was saying that, and yes, the priest is talking to Alan, and the mother superior is talking to Ellen. Said, don't worry, it happens a lot. Oh, girls, uh, I don't believe in marriage myself, but come see me. Get the rest of the cheerleading squad. You get a marriage blessing uh, with you know, a couple weeks of uh, ecstasy and visions of heaven. Come see me. Get that marriage blessing, wealth, prosperity. Carrie and Darlene are at a college party. And Carrie asks, what happened to your boyfriend Larry? Says, a jerk, I had to dump him. What happened to your boyfriend Harry? He said, yeah, he's a loser too, I had to dump him. And Darlene says, well, there's a whole lot of guys here at this party. And Carrie says, well... Yeah, but they're not hairy in the places you want them to be hairy. And, yeah, that head's so full of hair. And uh, Darlene says, well, you know what we've got? A love emergency, and there's only one handsome bald guy that will film. They both tried to call me. They're going to have to come see me in person. All there is to it. Agina has just gotten home to where she shares a, an apartment with Molly. And she says to Molly, you won't believe what happened at church. You texted me Melton's latest image. And Molly goes, yeah, he designed early today. Had it by noon. And yeah, everyone at the church, like me, forgot to uh, turn off their their phones. And yeah, about 10, 15 folks got those texts, including a couple of the nuns. And Molly says, nuns can have phones? And Molly says, of course they can. It's not the dark ages. Come unto me, and let me give you some beautiful imagery for your part of the world, your neck of the woods. You got to see me in person. The devil is hijacking your call to me. See for yourself. Make a video of it. 424-229-4140. Whatever boring thing you get is not going to be boring if you need to fire me police paramedics. And every day, it is money out of your pocket as you try to call me. You get that boring thing. When you're calling up countless other customers, then you get that. Money out of your pocket. Make a video of your hijacked lifeline and your Gates livelihood. Come see me. See my name, think your name. See my contact, think yours. Rachel says to Leah, her roommate, I got to go pick up Larry. His car broke down. And Leah says, again? I says, yeah, again. He swears it's not Stone Cold Melton's lightning bolt. It's bad luck. He doesn't believe in bad luck. And Leah says, well, just tell him to stop hanging around with those impersonators of Stone Cold. And maybe things will get better. And Rachel says, no, he... He says he likes hanging with the cool uh, kids on campus. And Aaliyah says, like that basketball player that keeps uh, missing those free throws that cost us the game. Cost us the game. Says, he says, yeah, I got to go. Uh, doc, uh, he's late for his doctor's appointment already. Uh, he swears it's not leprosy, the doc. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary, dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary, get to tell parables, and I have talked about how the Domino Network gets my work worldwide with DVDs, flash drives, and even phones. How one attractive blonde girl or near blonde girl gets an email with my latest 
image or parable, funny parable video, and she passed it along to 12 more attractive blonde girls and more 12 more after that for each one of those. Let me tell you about the angry brunette, how they are a part of the domino network, whether they know it or, but, or not. Yeah, Brenda, the mean attractive, uh, the mean brunette gets one and forwards it along saying, yeah, you won't believe what that son of a bitch is doing now. I am Melton, son of a carpenter Mary, dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Marianne, I'm a, am the son of a carpenter Mary, I get to make parables, and this one starts at cheerleading practice. Crystal shows up and she asks, where is Bernadette Teresa? And Celeste tells her, oh, she left us to become a nun. And Crystal says, what? Well, how are we going to form a pyramid? And how are we going to get Melton's latest imagery and videos? Oh, Crystal. Bernadette Marie can still text and email you my latest from the convent and tell her if you ever work up the nerve to come see me in person. I'm waiting for you here, Bernadette. I am Milton, son of a carpenter and Mary. Dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter and Mary. I get to make parables, and this is my parable series, Papal Chronicles, about how the popes, for the past couple thousand years, have been keeping tabs on the son of a carpenter and Mary, going from generation to generation. Two ways to do it. One, you become that short, handsome, bald guy again. Yeah, it plays havoc with your memories and all that. And two is to grow a new body, as you saw going on with those that big eye there at the beginning. And as this particular parable starts, Catherine is walking past a whole lot of very beautiful paintings, and she's saying most artists are happy to get one of these works of art in a lifetime, and you seem to do it with every one of them. I can't go on. Pearl Harbor, that's when I lost my ability to paint. Don't worry, girls. This rain will pass. This cold brown rain will pass. Until then, find yourself the shelter of a good church or mountain. The man in the shadows, arms, it's my arm. And make sure that you pass along plenty of DVDs, flash drives, email my imagery, my video parables. Text them, however you can do it. Let the domino effect reach the world until we are building a better world. At college party and Joe and Mitz are playing a game of Spot the Osama, Mideast, Muslim PR campaign in American pop culture. And, uh, Joe says, well, how about the scene I saw on TV last night about a Muslim foreign bearded looking guy hogtied on top of a building as a, a very American looking guy was attempting to shoot down a plane with a rocket launcher and Mitch says well how about the American sniper where he looks more like a Muslim sniper and he is uh, they are aiming to elicit sympathy for people who use their own holy book to justify anger and violence and uh, Joe says, yeah, how about Osama? Those two news clips we saw over and over again uh, portraying him as a tough teacher who can shoot a rifle and also as a man who can address his followers in a Gandhi-like way. Professor Foote is handing out grades in his video pioneers class and Frank says, how could you give me a D? And Foote says, well, you're just not trying hard. Do you know that Melton reaches the world 
with his minute nightly parables and Frank says, well, the girls keep reminding me that Melton's so much better looking than I am. And Flip says, well, it's not about good looks. It's about creativity. And Frank says, well, Melton's the son of a carpenter. Mary. Dad, a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary, yeah. He's the son of a carpenter. Mary. He gets his creativity from his dad. Oh, that's not true. I get my good looks from dad. Uh... Both of us get our creativity from being so good looking. Frank, have you tried using my imagery in your videos or at least change your name to a better name? To the future, after somebody's torn down the Great Wall of Evil, which is me alone, some corporate in all of my imagery here. Mitch and Tony are building one of Jesus' immaculate house, a thousand points of light to be built once the Great Wall of Eve was torn down. And Tony says to Mitch, why are we doing this here in California? And Mitch says, well, the Great Wall of Eve has given us problems. Building in our neck of the woods is running and hiding in our part of the world. They're part of that shadowy streets and can disappear real quick, but around Stone Cold, moving from Immaculate Mansion to Immaculate Mansion because of that uh, effect. They, uh, they're, they're being fed into a wood chipper. We're the wood chipper, and they go into the house and they pick up the Chinese misfits in the way of the world's progress. Coach, the basketball coach, has called an extra practice. And when everyone's there, he says, you remember last week? I took all of your vertical jumps. I want you to see something. And he asked Tony to jump up the hill. And he does. And it's four inches higher than it was last week. And the coach says, what's the difference between last week and this week? And Adam says, well, last week, Tony had a full head of hair. And this week, he's bald. And the coach says, yeah, exactly. I want you to... Uh, I'll think about that, and I want you to be getting some good night's sleep because uh, we got that big game next week. And, you know, afterwards, uh, Adam walks over to Tony and says, Why'd you shave your head? And he said, I didn't. The coach did. While I was sleeping. Oh, don't shave the uh, players' heads while they sleep. Even if it gets four inches, inches higher of vertical jumps, if they support the team, they'll shave it for you. Cheerleaders are talking about the boyfriends. Amanda says, well, I wanted some tasteful nude photos, and he couldn't do it. They turned out horrible. And uh, Anina says, oh, you won't believe my boyfriend. Asked him to help me move some furniture around, and 15 minutes in, he was huffing and puffing. I tell you, often when I'm having sex with my boyfriend, I fantasize about making love with Melton, the handsome ball guy, so I've called to marry and uh, uh, Amanda says, yeah, me too. Girls, it's natural. Your boyfriends are growing old. I'm growing young. I'm in a wheelchair right now, but that you can look and see where that's going with the eyes. Younger blue-eyed DNA taking over for older brown-eyed. Come see me in person, girls. Let me not only take those uh, beautiful photos of you, but I can design it into even more beautiful graphic art. Jack is talking with the bishop, and he tells him, I've been having the strangest dreams lately. Like last night, I had a dream that they had a big sale on cakes at the liquor store. And this morning, I opened up the paper, and sure enough, they do. And the bishop says, well, did you go get a cake? And the priest said, no. Well, don't worry about it. Meanwhile, at a campus nearby, Larry wakes up. He's yelling and screaming, I'm late. i got to get to church for morning mass. They can't start without me. Where's my collar? And, yeah, then he kind of realizes it's just a dream. Oh, Larry. Realize that, you know, the angels are only human. At least they used to be. Uh, they're going to get things mixed up. And, yes, uh, it's never too late to change majors and girls. If the convent, you know, isn't your kind of major change. Come see the one only. Uh, beards are no longer required. Long hair and dresses are still in style for disciples. 
I am Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary. Dad, a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables, and I also get to answer prayers. All right, who's first? Adam. You're a little late getting back from spring break, and you're worried that the professors and your parents won't understand. Well, it's not that that much of a big deal. Not that long, I mean. Tell them you just uh, got tied up and... Oh, spring break of last year, huh? Well, that might be a problem. They just tell you, Dad, you, you got kidnapped by gypsies. And, you know, there are a lot of good colleges there in uh, Florida. Just uh, tell them to send money so you can go to one. I am Milton, son of a carpenter. Mary, Dad, a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne, I'm the son of a carpenter. I get to make parables. And I also get to answer prayers. All right, who's first tonight? Yes, Cassie, what's on your mind? You wanted to see if your boyfriend looked like me if you shaved his head, so you shaved his head while he was sleeping, and now you're worried that he's going to be angry when he wakes up. He just might be, don't you think? Here's what you tell him. While you, while he was sleeping, a band of angry brunette gypsies broke in to your apartment, shaved his head. Cassie, look at him. Does he look anything like me? I know he just looks goofy. Don't shave your man's head while he sleeps. He's not going to look like me. Let that be a lesson to all you girls out there. I am Milton, son of a carpenter, Mary. Dad, a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables. And I also get to answer prayers. All right, who's up first? Jenna? I can hardly understand you. What are you trying to say? You're crowning somebody? You're playing checkers. You're crowning somebody. Oh, you're drowning. Had a little too much to drink on the cruise, and you're drowning. You fell off the, the boat. Well, I'm sorry that's not my area of expertise. Uh, why splash around in the water when you can walk on top of it or and... Uh, Turn it into wine. Uh, hey, uh, Sandra, come over here. I want you to go fish out Jenna and drop her off in rehab. Hold on, Jenna. My best guardian angel is coming to uh, save you. Scott and Tony are two college students. And Scott says to Tony, do we have February 2018 Melton's imagery for our party this weekend? And Tony says, oh, hell yeah, we got uh, what we have been keeping up with. And he doesn't even have the 5x7s and 8x10s. We got that. We keep up with that daily. We got him painting it the way he paints it. You know, my star flowers, frames, and all that. Uh, and we've also got videos. Oh, a whole lot of street documentaries. As he yeah, is, the Chinese assholes. Folks don't even, have, even exist. Going Stone Cold Crazy, four or five of each and every thing at that apartment complex of his. And the uh, Chinese asshole is trying to manage a thousand impersonators with, yes, the Mormons. In and out. Yeah, we're set. We're going to have a good laugh at the Chinese asshole's expense this weekend.